now tuned into I Can Do That, the ultimate show brought to you by Adolescent Content. In this series, creators will be challenged to reimagine iconic images and videos. From album covers to music videos, we show you that the sky's the limit with a little creativity. Will these creators step up to the challenge or struggle to make it work? Let's find out. With no time to waste, let's meet this episode's creator. Hello, my name is Alexei Reyes. I'm 20 years old from Texas and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer. I love using color in my work. There's a lot of color. I love using it to tell stories. I love using it to amplify the subject. I'll match like my model's outfit to the backdrop. I'll match the prop to the weather outside. There's a lot of complementary colors going on and it's often described as like youthful and dreamlike. I get inspired a lot by music. I love sitting down and listening to the lyrics in a song and kind of creating my own world or scenarios to kind of later on turn that into a concept for a shoot. The concept for the shoot is the Whole Lot of Money music video by Dia. So the reason I'm a little nervous for the shoot is because this concept is a little bold and a lot of my work I feel like is very warm tone and soft. I'm not used to doing like the baddie, like in your face type of concept. And that's what this music video is about. Like it's very like in your face, money, 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 money. So I don't know, I've never done a shoe like this and I'm a little nervous, but you know what? I'm excited to like, it's always good to try new things. I learn a lot every time I do so. So here's the plan for the shoot. My friend and model Hope is going to be joining me later and we're gonna go shopping uh, for a outfit. We're kind of looking for something similar. I know what B is wearing in the music video is a little more on the designer expensive side, but we're on a budget. So we're gonna try to find something similar. For the shoot's concept, I'm going to take a specific scene from the music video where Bia is in a room of mirrors and there's kind of like lights um, surrounding the mirror room. This one caught my attention because it's still kind of similar to my style that's very like dreamlike. What we'll need is about six to seven tall mirrors. We'll need some sort of like cardboard or tape to hold stuff up and make sure everything's in place. We'll be shooting at a studio location so I have that booked for a couple of hours. And I'll also be using my strobe light for lighting because it's very bright and the video scene is very bright. So we're gonna try to replicate the lighting as well. But for now, I'm gonna be heading to the store with Hope and try to see if we can find some of the outfits and props for the shoot. found this top. We're kind of looking for a brown top. We're not sure which one. This one or this one? Ooh. I think even that looks good too. I'm not sure. I like both. Hmm. They both look good to me, but I'm not sure which one. It's a hard, hard decision. <laughs> hmm. There's like a lot of options. Okay, so we just found these pants. It's a brown pant, and we found this top. To be honest, I think this would match better with my style in general. I'm a little new to this, like, whole lot of money via photo shoot aesthetic, so to make it my own, but still keep the same, like, color palette, we might do the pants and this top over the skirt and that top. Because they both look good, and they both have the same palette, but they're just a little different. So we might do this. Okay. Do you agree? I agree. And we also need to do jewelry too. Okay, yes. Let's go find some jewelry, but this is a go. We're going up this escalator. Wait, this could be good. I think a, uh, I think a chain like this would be perfect, because it fits the like aesthetic mm -hmm. of the video. So it's a little better. We just came on. Okay, so we just got back from shopping and we found this chain, which is perfect for $9.99, $10. Mm -hmm. We found this top for $15. Yeah, it was 15 bucks. We changed it, instead of the skirt, we mm -hmm. did pants. Yes, like and I said. And these were 30. $30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like I said, same color palette, but more my style. We're getting, we're about to get to the studio soon. So 
I made it to the studio we're gonna be shooting in. And I also have my friend Kiara. <laughs> She's gonna be helping record some BTS and uh, shooting and also like just being here so I wanted to introduce her. Brianna, but she's our makeup artist for today. Hey! And she's doing post makeup. We're doing the similar like, um, do you want to explain a little bit what the look like? Yeah, okay, so we're kind of recreating this gold soft glam moment. Kind of just did something really soft and glowy. Um, we're gonna make it really sultry with some lashes and some liner. Um, yeah, be real crazy. I actually have these props. We have seven mirrors here, and I'm gonna make a little room out of them. Okay, so I have this um, table mat that I'm gonna use as a flooring for the set. But I'm gonna put this mat on the ground, um, and we'll see how that looks. So I think it should be good. Okay. I mean, it goes on this side, but it's silver. So, I think this will look good. We're gonna be cutting a little bit down the middle to create like a roof for the mirrors as well as like a floor, so. I'm gonna be shooting with a Canon EOS R and a 15 to 35 millimeter lens so it's a little more wide angle looked. shooting with this specific lighting, which is a strobe light, but I'm gonna switch to these um, handheld LED lights, just to give it a different look and see how this one looks, because it's that one's very bold, but I kind of like this. So now that we've taken our photos, I'm gonna sit down and edit them. So starting off, I have the photos with the visor, um, which I wasn't feeling during the shoot. It was giving a lot of uh, shadows in her face that I didn't really like, as well as just kind of distracting. And it wasn't going with the outfit. I was originally planning to change the color of it in Photoshop, but just, it wasn't feeling right. Ooh, I love these shots of her sitting down. Those really capture the like essence we were going for and they look really cool like the lighting I use the strobe lighting for this and the strobe lighting looks really cool. Oh, I think this is one of my favorites so far she, Her also her posing is really Encapsulating is encapsulating the pose is really like giving what we were looking for so I really like this one I don't think these photos need a lot of editing because the lighting is really good. Lighting matters a lot when I'm taking them. Like I try to make sure the lighting is really good in camera so I don't have to edit it too much in post production because once it's done in camera then there's no really there's not really a need for it. And it's looking really good. I placed the strobe directly hitting her and so every all the light was reflecting off of all the sides. I think I really enjoyed the process. It's always really fun to like plan photo shoots and you know go out shopping, get getting all the props, the wardrobe, and being surrounded by like creative people. I had a couple changes throughout the shoot um, and I'm really happy that everyone was really patient with me. But having a team always makes a photo shoot look better. So if you're planning on doing something similar, try reaching out to people around you that are you know a photo assistant or makeup artist to um, just make the shoot more of a successful project. We were on a budget, which we did stay in, 
but um, that did limit a little bit on how the shoot went as far as like Hope's uh, poses and the way that she had like space to move around and give me the energy that the Bia music video gave. So here is the original reference photo of the Whole Lot of Money music video by Bia. And then this right here is my final result. Um, it's my reimagination of the concept and the visuals in my own way. Let me know what you think. I personally liked it, uh, but I want to hear your thoughts on do you think I nailed the concept or do you think it's good that I kind of made it my own? Let me know. I'm kind of curious. So that's pretty much all for the video. Thank you so much to Adolescent for inviting me on and letting me show my process with you all. It was honestly such a really fun day that um, helped me learn a little bit about myself and my style as an artist, which is always good. There's always something new to learn. But if you want to find me on social media, you can find me at Alexei on TikTok, Alexei Reyes on Instagram, and my website is Alexei.com. Thank y'all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. What a creative journey. How do you think Alexi did? Sound off in the comments below. We have more creative inspiration heading your way next week on an all new episode of I Can Do That. So keep this series locked by subscribing to Adolescent Content's channel, liking, and sharing this video. That's a wrap.